Hey, don't click away. Today I will be showing you how to set up Nissan's beginner's bundle kit, the Superlight and B2 Plus Autoclave. What is up everyone? Thanks for tuning in and checking out this episode. I am Javi Guzman with Mr. Phone Doctor. We are tech enthusiasts who specialize in mobile device repair, equipment, and training. If you are here watching this video, you may have purchased these amazing little machines and had some questions regarding setup and use. Hopefully I am able to answer all the questions you may have by the end of this video. If I left anything out or you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us or leave a comment down below in the comment section. Keep in mind, I highly recommend buying from a reputable company company who will offer support on the machines. We at Mr. Phone Doctor are authorized resellers of Nissan and will help support all of our customers who purchase. Training is not included in support. If you need training, feel free to contact us as well and we can offer you options for in-person or online training. All right, let's get into this. What you see here is our latest bundle kit, which includes Nissan's Super Light Airbag Laminator, their B2 Plus Autoclave Bubble Remover, a one liter vacuum. You also get a set of 10 foam mats for all Samsung curve screens. And we wanted to pair this kit up with Forward's 361 Max. This seven in one heat plate separator is great. Why? Well, I am all about having equipment with versatility and this machine is packed with many features for the price of one. I actually created a video covering all of its features. If you want to check it out in further detail, please click up above here. I'll leave a link to that video. This beginner's bundle kit comes in at an affordable price of $1,200 which is a great option for anyone that is looking to get into the refurbishing industry. It is very lightweight and portable and does not take up a lot of workshop space as you can see here. Let's first begin with the super light laminator. It includes a soft foam mat, which is found here for laminating your flat screens, an extra airbag and a 110 power cable. It does require a one liter vacuum and does not need an air compressor, which makes this very, very nice and portable. The reverse airflow technology of the super light allows the vacuum to work as a compressor, eliminating it completely. The vacuum does require a vacuum pump oil in order to work properly. This can be picked up on Amazon or your local automotive store, such as AutoZone. I recommend filling up the vacuum to about three quarters of the way, as shown here on this glass display monitor. Be sure to monitor the oil. It should not get low. However, after many uses, I recommend changing it out. Changing the oil is easy and you can simply unscrew this Allen screw found here and just pour it all into a cup. After all this is filled and ready, the next step is to connect the vacuum to the laminator. Let me clear all this off so I can show you how to connect it. Let's first begin by filling up the vacuum with the vacuum pump oil. I like to just unscrew right here this top little valve cover. And if you notice here, you can see where our levels are on here. There's actually a line up on top here. So you can see that this line here, that's gonna be your maximum fill line. And this lower line is your low fill line. And just carefully pour it in. And we're not gonna use this full eight ounces. We're only gonna use probably a little under a quarter. So let's stop there. Let's let it catch up and fill up. And it may take a little while for it to start filling up. So don't over pour, okay? Pour a little bit at a time and wait to see the volume just slowly increase. All right, and we'll continue to put a little bit more in here. There we go, and that'll do it. You can see how we met that top fill line here. Let's cover it back up, and we will remove this little topper on top. This was just protecting any kind of oil from seeping out while it was in transit. So connecting is very simple. You need to simply plug in one end of the hose into our vacuum. So we will stick one end here. Just give it a little wiggle. Once you have it there, we can tighten up the threaded nut that holds this in place. All right, there we are. So we have our vacuum connected. And with the other end, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug this into the laminator. The laminator has the same type of threaded input in the rear. We will grab this and put our threaded nut on there. Press this in. All right, there we have it. And we will do the same, just finger tighten. So now we have our vacuum pump and our super light connected. So next up, you will need to plug in your vacuum pump into the vacuum pump base outlet on the back of the Nissan. So the Nissan has full control of the vacuum. Anytime that it engages, the vacuum pump will turn on. And the Superlight is a very user-friendly machine. 
With one preset and touch of the screen, you can laminate any screen from iPhones, Samsung, Apple Watch, plus many others. All flat screens, including Apple Watches and iPhone screens, you will use this black foam mat, which is included. And for Samsungs, we will use one of the pre-cut laminating mats, depending on what model you have. Once you are ready to laminate, be sure that the airbag is sitting in place correctly. You can see that the airbag is removable, and you can see all the internal components here. Let me show you how easy it is to set up your machine presets. So this is your control panel. You can see that you have different languages. You can choose Chinese, Spanish, or English. So we are on Chinese, now we are on English. So this lower right is going to change your language. You have your three parameters here. You have your vacuum time, you have your laminating time, and you have your vacuum pressure. If you want to change your vacuum time, we could just go to set. And right now we have it at 35 second vacuum laminating times 25. To change these, you just touch the set button and we can change it either to 25 or we'll keep it at 35. Now your vacuum pressure, this just shows your vacuum pressure and this is gonna vary depending on your altitude, okay? So those at sea level, you're gonna get a, a higher reading on the KPA. Me in my mountain area, we're a little bit above four to 5,000 altitude. So we're readings are about 89 to 90. Once you have it set, you can go ahead and hit the start button. And we have it running. The vacuum is going to start sucking all the air out of the chamber. And you can see the readings here. Once it gets to a nominal about 90, you're going to see the vacuum time start going. So it's not until you hit a higher number on your vacuum KPA that you'll see the vacuum time start counting up. So this is when the reverse technology kicks in and you can see how that it's throwing the air back up on top. So this is doing your laminating. And this is gonna go for 25 seconds. And that's it, that's simple. Vacuum stops. Now we can really open up and inspect everything that we have. Really, really cool and overall very user friendly. So that wraps up the super light. As you saw it, it is a very simple, easy to operate machine. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to operate the B2 Plus Autoclave Bubble Remover. The B2 Plus Autoclave Bubble Remover is one of the smallest autoclaves in the market. You have the option of connecting an air compressor or if you don't wanna use an air compressor, you can use the internal pump that's included in the machine. This gives you more portability and saves a lot of space. To turn it on, you will need to plug it in with the 110 volt cable and switch it on. To turn it on, you're gonna need to turn on the switch on the side and we will need to double tap the on and that turns it on for you. After you have it on, you can adjust the heat temperature inside the machine. If you notice, you have your set and you have a Celsius here. You can press it See how it changes that? We have 60, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45. I'm gonna leave it at 45 since that's usually what we use. If you long press the set key, this allows you to change your PSI. The PSI can be changed from 0.2 to 2.8. Let me show you real quick. So we'll hold it. Right now we have it at 0.6. You could do 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.2. So you can go anywhere between 0 0.2 and 0.8. Generally, I like to leave it about 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is a safe PSI on here for all models. Once you have this set, you can go over to your time, which time is critical. Uh, for Samsung screens, I recommend you running for 10 minutes. So you can change this here. And this bubble remover goes all the way up to 20 minutes. So you have the option between two minutes all the way up to 20. Once you have all your presets set up, what you need to do is you just hit the start button and it's a double press as well to activate and turn on. You will hear the little loud compressor go on. What's going on now is it's actually shooting air inside the chamber. There we go. So we got up to the PSI we needed. If you do need to stop it for any reason, you can double tap the start stop again. That's your stop and start function. Let's all the air out. And you have a nice little door, which you can open up right here to insert your screens. And if you notice, you do have a PSI gauge reader here so you can monitor your PSI levels, make sure that everything's running up to proper PSIs. 
So that pretty much wraps up my bundle kit review on the Nissan V2 Plus and the Supa Lite. I really hope you guys got some useful information out of the video. Once again, if you're interested in purchasing this bundle, visit the link in the description area. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us or comment down below. The Surgeon signing out. Cheers. Mm -hmm.